All right, today's story time. I'm talking about the honorable and the legend, Dr. Sonia Sanchez and how I met her. All right. Yes, just like in the title, I met Dr. Legendary Sonia Sanchez while a student at Howard. At Howard, you just don't know from day to day going to work on campus, like when Chadwick stayed in his speech, like you just don't know what magic when you go on a campus or who you're going to meet. Like at my job, the supervisor there was like, always have your camera. And back in the day, we did have camera phones. Yes, the flip phones. I had the pink one that was hot. And then, but we just had those, yes, we still had disposable, especially during Obama's inauguration, his first one, I went to it, woo woo, history. Um, I just, I had the disposable. We have come a long ways with phones. Anywho, today, um, I'm talking about Dr. Sonia Sanchez, who offered to be my mentor. I'm like, I still need mentors, like, I'm really seeking it. Like I do have, I had, I've had had some amazing ones, but I need like more life coaches. So yes, I'm on the mission to finding those. But um, yes, one day um, working cause sister in college had to pay my rent in my dormitory. So yes, I'm a workaholic too. But yes, I went to work one day and you never know, like I love my job. I love what I did, like, cause like you never know who you're gonna meet. So that day I was able to work in the museum and I love the museum cause it was quiet. It was nice, I could get homework done sometimes as well. But one day I, they had, it's always something going on. Like you just don't know, like from time to time, unless you can see the schedule, it's always something going on from dignitaries to, politicians and we in dc so it was always something political some politician some civil rights leader like i've met so many different people working in that building so many legends that i've always saw on tv and one is poet dr sonia sanchez and it was just an honor like my boss had me go in there with her and just she was very sweet quiet she was short you know short like me um but she was just so humble like she didn't have a proud attitude and i was able to talk to her and she just asked me where i was from and i let her know and she just we just had a cool conversation and there was other students that knew she was in there that was a fan of her work and her activism come meet her and she was from philly and i guess she was like this girl needs a mentor so she was like um i want to be your mentor i mean i never followed up on it but what a incredible body of work i just want to honor her like she had a still small like not small but because she's so big, but such a peaceful spirit, like no airs about her, no arrogance, no attitude, just really humble. And I was honored to be able to walk with her up to, they were honoring her, I believe, at a ceremony. I was just there working, but just that short period of time, it was just like amazing. Like I'm really with, you know, this amazing poet that has been on the Cosby show and you know, Zana, uh, you know, all, she's black history, you know, I was literally with history and I just feel honored and privileged that I was able to be around her and, um, I know I need to brush back on a lot of her work. Like I'm doing this quarantine, I'm reading a lot of different African-American poets and authors and books like I'm reading I'm in a book club and we're reading the bluest eye by Toni Morrison who I met and I will talk about that too but I just think Howard is just I don't know I just feel so privileged that I was able to meet so many people that have been advocates for African Americans in this country and when we're taught to be silent they weren't silent like we use our pen and pad as a way of activism to voice the concerns of our community. And I'm just grateful and thankful that little old me from LA, you know, I knew it was big at the time, but I was trying to stay humble too. 
but I just think like that school was so cool for us to meet real life heroes and also see that you know we could do amazing things in our lives too so yeah that's just a quick little story time on how I met Dr. Sonia Sanchez and that she offered to be my mentor so I mean if she if she would love to still be my mentor I would go to Philly and you know sit with her and glean because I love I know how to be quiet and just I love gleaning from the older women and you know learning about things like because I do honestly cherish history and I believe in passing traditions along so I think that's something that a lot of us younger need to do with our older women is go to the wise ones some silly ones but the ones that are wise and go glean and learn from them it will make our lives a lot better all right thanks for coming love you guys Peace out, Diary Dine Dineeks Diary fam. Love y'all. Bye. <laughs>